Here we go. It's all set. Let me throw this out of the way just so I don't kick it in my movements. There we are. Oof. Hopefully I calibrated this right. It took me like two days to calibrate this thing properly. Come in. I will not lie to you guys, like the last few days of... The last few days of playing Ring Fit have been rough to do, simply because... Uh, yeah, don't ask me again. The last few days of playing Ring Fit have been rough because I've had to like recalibrate this controller constantly. Three, but even two, then, I haven't been one, able to play go. Ring Fit every single day again. But, on the plus pod. side, I have been Make able sure to at least exercise in some capacity every day. Last time. All right. And I have, Good. and I have gotten myself Next another elliptical slash exercise bike, so Bring I can actually do exercises that on. aren't specifically ring Focus fit. On moving the now. Insides of your ankles upward. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop. So now I can actually, like I said do things that aren't Don't let your knees move sitting too far forward. on Make that sure aren't your toes looking at this ahead of you. looking at a TV screen doing these Let's workouts do one more of each. for All right. um, doing these workouts for Finally. Spread your two hours and getting exhausted part way through Raise it the ring con above your head uh. and lean to the side and ending up making my routine take Be sure to keep your lower back three straight. hours instead. As you exhale, it's really you wild how it's really wild how one. Let's do one more of each. It's really wild how one week of great job not being able to work out due to lack of focus really just messes up your entire workflow. Oh no, gifts from Odin. Oh no, here we go again. Oh snap, here we go again. I haven't got plugged yet. If I actually did the multitask mode. Okay. So. stretching here and switch over some stuff just want to wait for a minute for folks ow ow oh my god hey wow my neck my neck revitalized his spirit unbroken his drive about to be about to be pile driven into the ground by a leg focused by a leg focused activity set. But hey, we roll with that. We roll with these punches. Okay, oh, right. time to run. <laughs> I forgot. New shelf. New shelf is very noisy. So I don't 
kill myself. Well, first things first. Where is... Oh, I can't drink that double up here? No, I can't. Okay. Let me start with the front press. Sat down and crunch. I really just all I did today was just sit down and crunch numbers. And yet, I don't know. Me just crunching numbers all day, it felt like I've done a lot. down something on my arm and I saw a glistening spot on my arm I was like, oh, what is that? And then I was like, oh, that's a mole. mountain climbers after this and not feel so bad. Okay. Okay. Mountain climber time. Much to my own chagrin. Thankfully, I don't have to do it. Well, hopefully, I don't have to do it on this mat. You know what? I'm going to take this mat. This is really used for like three exercises. I'm going to move this mat out of the way for the most part. And then do things a little bit different. wasn't a full set, but I feel so much better about that set compared to other ones I've done. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, whew, almost forgot to do. smoothie up.
Oh, got that. Slowly repeat this walk. That this chest is gonna run away from me too. You did it. There we go. Yay! Dark some bopo. Okay, let's move. Target your back with this one. Nice. Amazing. Great. Awesome. Very nice. Fantastic. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Yeah, I'm like, like I won't lie. Like I'm feeling way better today than I have last few days of been working out. But it's, I don't know. I feel the exhaustion of working out right now as much as a little bit more than I normally do. But I'm actually excited to keep going for a change. Now they know things are actually going to work properly. probably sweating a lot more than normal because the humidity has been horrendously high these last few days. So like I'm just sweating like crazy right now. I'm only seven minutes into all this and I'm sweating like crazy already. And that makes me happy. And they quit punk out. Good job. Chick it out, punk out, what do you want to say? And go up in a window. Excellent. But now. Nah. Perfect. We don't we don't roll like that. Great. Awesome. We out here working out to the bitter end. Great. Wonderful. Fine work. Nice.
all of them attacking, you say? Kasai. <sighs> My journey be it plentiful and odd. I'll be thine's journey. Huh. Ye olde English speak. Your day and attitude is better today than mine was last week. Also, this is going to be slightly disgusting, but excuse me for just a minute. It is allergy season after all. <sighs> Bots on bots on this platform, as in Twitch, or bots on a game? Because tomato, tomato in my brain. On Twitch, yeah. No, the bots, are, like, every, on all content posting platforms, the bots are being terrible. Like, I get, I've been getting hit with at least two bots per stream. Keep in mind, I've been in foul moods a lot the last week or so while streaming. At least for streaming's sake. And. Yeah, I've been. I've only, I'm like, I've only been streaming like two, two and a half hours every time I've streamed recently. But I still get two to three bots every time I stream. And it's starting to get. I don't know. That's a lot more than I'm used to. But they are out in force. Like even on YouTube, they're out in force. Last time I, ha I saw a bot, my exact words were, they were like, their, their message of, hey, want to get followers and grow fast? Follow this link to get, and I was like, and I just follow up with, hey, bot, you want to find better ways to make money for the person who wrote you? And I banned it. trolling bot. I thought it was one of the various get, get, get followers bots. Back and shoulder. Excellent. 
Really, I was that short? Great hustle. That's Keep sad. Up. Oh, we got another runner. No, that makes sense. Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. Whew, there we go. 130. After it was. I think the, if I remember right, because keep in mind, this is me, Scooter, the very bad with names and very terrible short-term memory, Scooter. Um, I believe it was, I believe it was a recent follower, Slacker named Jack, who informed me that 100 BPM is pretty, is, still is decent. And me trying to get down on myself for going 130 is actually me uh, beating my own ass at this, at this working out thing. Although having your heart go super fast is a bad idea, still doesn't beat my high score of 140 BPM. You know, oh, cool, I don't have to make more of those. But it's always the fun thing with bots, right? Where they're designated to try and come in and either start a fight. Oh, excuse me. Or they're designed to come in and start a fight. Or try to do something malicious to you and or your computer. It's kind of one and the same when you think about it, but still. So here's something I can talk about, and hopefully I can talk about while I focus on this. So here's a topic for, to start us off here. So recently, I found out that between the years, between the late 50s, I found out today by my mother, by the way. I found out today that during the late 50s to mid 70s, my grandfather, my grandfather occasionally bought comic books. Uh, the man has passed away since then, so can't confirm anything. But uh, my aunt, who basically ha currently has hold of all of his possessions, this will focus on your told my, you know, for my mother that hey, I have these stacks of comic books just that that grandpa used to have laying around, and I don't know what to do with them. So, the thought process going on right now with me and my brother-in-law is because, you know, we're internet savvy people and we're nerds. We kind of know how to get stuff that has very little value to most people. You know, kind of get it out there. Oh, I can find my old score. Kind of know how to browse around and get that stuff noted. You know, get rough estimates of what we can get for something like that. So... 
we went, well, so my mother uh, texted me a list of everything that was cataloged that my grandfather had in his, in his collection. And some of them were like old Marvel thing, like, like Marvel before they went superheroes. Some of the stuff was like Marvel before they went superheroes, like cowboy stories, and also DC before they went full on to the superhero thing too, like Tarzan and Son of Tarzan. So, I did a lot of the research. I did a lot of the research today while I was waiting for a video to, while I was waiting for a couple of videos to render out and, and another one to upload. But I went through the research and did it. And we have kind of a wide margin for error on it because of one particular comic book in that collection. So on my search, going through, with all the comic books question, we are lowballing, like lowballing of all that stuff. We're lowballing like 1950, 1950. Now, highball, you would think, oh, it's like 3,000 or something like that. No, because <laughs> my grandfather, had, for some reason, bought a bought like issue 56 or something like that of the Amazing Spider-Man. So, depending upon the quality of that comic book, we could be looking at just under two grand for all the comic books, or close to 40 grand for all the comic books because of that one. <laughs> Like, it's literally like, you know, it's literally like, you know, bottom of the barrel, the front cover is scribbled all over because it was given to a child, or the pages are torn up and everything. You know, the pages are torn up, you know, we're talking, a little kid got their hands on it, read it, looked at the pictures for two minutes, and then literally threw it across the room and made it part of their pile of messes at $120 versus kept in near mint condition, 38 grand, or like, near mint condition 38 grand <laughs> oh, that's what I was doing for a couple hours today after I talked to my mom about the uh, options we can go through but like I said my brother-in-law is in on it and he knows of a comic book place and it'll, that it will give him a that will give a good estimate of a lot of that stuff. Heck, maybe you can buy it. So, I basically crunched the numbers and got us an estimate of what we should be asking for. And he was like, okay, well, you got that. I'll get the preservation stuff worked out. Alright, squats, wide squats, overhead squats. Interesting selection. Let's start with knee lift. Initially, I was thinking, With your legs bent slightly, and initially I was thinking, you know, I'd grab up, initially when I thought she called me that she was going to offer me the comic books, I'm going to pause for me, holy cow. It's 
very hard to talk. It's very hard to talk and exercise at the same time, especially when you haven't been going as hard as you normally do on exercise. <sighs> so when she initially called me, I thought, oh, she's calling me because she has no use for it. She's going to throw it out. So because I'm nerdy, she's going to give me the comic books. And so that's what I thought. But she knew the fa that those kind of things sell for a lot. So she was like, so she wanted to make sure we tried to do everything we could buy the books by herself before we like sat down and crunched numbers. I'm hoping is like she'll contact me in the next few days here and either ask me to go with her or ask for some of the suggestions and I'll have to tell her I basically have to tell her that hey you're gonna have to treat these comic books like you see on Antiques Roadshow they're gonna try and haggle you down from whatever price they actually are so you're gonna need to fight hard to keep that up because they're trying to make a profit and you're trying to make a penny Whew, okay, I'm back. So I have a feeling that unless things change drastically, that sometime next week I may be accompanying her to take these comic books back, uh, to take these comic books to various retailers. <clears throat> session of oh, Indivisible. Fantastic. And of course a video for Pac-Man 99 because when a new trend comes along you gotta hop on it. Ha 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 Basically, what I'm gonna have to tell her Excellent. if she decides to do it next week. I know my brother-in-law will know. My brother-in-law was is much more into the superhero comic book stuff than I am, so he'll know. So he'll know a lot better when it comes to this stuff. If how, when to hold them, when to fold them, and all that all that good talk. sitting here thinking about it while I'm talking about it. And I understand not everybody can afford to have uh, the Nintendo internet or online play package. I understand not everybody can afford it. Especially if they're if they're suspect to their parents paying the, paying, what, paying, for, paying for the service. But man, so I've only played like an hour of it so far since it launched yesterday. But I gotta say, Pac-Man 99. Uh, I feel like it's a great replacement for Mario. For Mario 35. Like Mario 35 was, was fun for about the first week to a month. And then there was a solved solution for how to terrorize everybody. The solve solution for Mario 35 was literally go to a level, go to a level that has Lakitus, multiply Lakitus, have it be a Lakitu party where nobody has fun. But I feel like Pac-Man 99 is not a solve formula. It won't, and it will never be a solve formula just because of how the Jammer Pac-Man work and how the spawning and despawning of 
attacks work in that game. It'd be kind of like Tetris 99 where you can have game sense of the game to be good at it, but you will never be a master of it. And depending upon how long we spend in Ring Fit today and how I feel towards the end of this re okay, uh, recording session, I might extend our Fantastic. extend our business endeavors this evening. Awesome. And maybe we'll play a little bit of Pac-Man 99 on the, bat on the tail end Good tonight. Job. We'll see. Great. But I will say that, but I will reiterate that that is, like I'm a sucker for Pac-Man, yes. but I will say Pac-Man 99 is probably one of the is probably okay. a continuation of the classic arcade game turned into quite possibly one of the best Battle Royale games on the market. Well done. I just have to laugh at myself. By the way, I want to preface this a little bit of the story with, uh, hold on, I'm getting dizzy. I want to preface this a little bit of my story with the fact that I don't understand and I don't play the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. But for some reason, throughout the entirety of the video I recorded for Pac-Man 99, I was calling the Pac- the, ja the Jammer Pac-Man. I was sitting there calling them Ojama Pac-Man. Apparently, I just, I was just in the mood to chaz people, but unfortunately, you can't chaz people in Pac-Man 99. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hang on, lightheaded again. I haven't done proper squat in ages, have I? This is the problem when you don't do squats, you get lightheaded easily. Especially if you do multiple in a row like this. Good job. You know, thinking back on it, I think it's now been one year since I started playing Ring Fit Adventure. Possibly even one year since I've been streaming Ring Fit Adventure. Very nice. Fine work. Keep it up. Okay. Wonderful. I'm like, I should I should say I'm not here to I'm not here to trash on and dunk on people that play Yu-Gi-Oh. Holy cow! Delight headed. I'm not here to trash on people who play Yu-Gi-Oh. I played worse card games, and I play, I, I play, the current craze of board games that have come out. So I'm not sitting here dunking on people for playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and trying to say, oh well, games I play have much more sense and substance. My guy, I play I play Lord uh, Lords of Waterdeep and Terraforming Mars and a whole bunch of games like that where you have to look at cards on this side of the board to look at a card on this side of the board. Look at the card in your hand, back to the board, back to your hand, back to the board, back to the space you want to go to, back to your hand. Then take ten minutes for your turn, and then you say, "Okay, go." With none of this being with none of that being keyworded, like Yu-Gi-Oh has the issue with. But what I will also say is if you like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And you get tired of 
having the right li hear us uh, listen to and give a thesis sp statement every time you want to activate a trap card. Look into playing Magic the Gathering. Because that game has keywords to make everything simple. Only time you ever have to give a thesis statement on something is if somebody doesn't understand a keyword or they want you to go through the process of how your deck works in case they don't like what just transpired that turn. Hold on one second. Don't get, don't do this right now. Like, what is it? I always forget the name when I bring it up. But there is one Yu-Gi-Oh card that has, I think it's 107, or no. It's either 130 uh, words or 270 characters to describe what effect it does. So much text on the card, they actually have to shrink the type, the type font for it to make it all fit on the bottom half of the card. Like something mind mage or something like that. <sighs> Meanwhile, magic has magic has this guy is an eight six that costs five and three fireballs with the with the keyword fire breathing on it. What's fire breathing do? If I spend if I spend one man, I can give it plus one. I can give plus one plus zero to its attack, or to its uh, attack and damage defense modifiers. <sighs> Again, with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's just like I must read this entire card in its entirety. Win summon on the battlefield. <laughs> you know that whole crap. It's like I understand that Yu-Gi-Oh. Is popular and it's and that it has good ideas, but <laughs> it shouldn't be a thesis statement to play your deck every time. Anyway, lower your hips. Keep your legs fit. Really. I, I hope you know I was a mid squad. Lower your hip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your legs fit. Huh? I was reading your message when that happened, so sorry. I got to reread it. Huh? Excellent. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. You know, enjoy your enjoy your uh, card game. That's fine. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, oh, your card game is garbage, switch card games, no. I'm not, I never am out here to do that. Like, I will be, I will... Like, I may clown on people who play Dark Souls, because I don't understand it. Woo, hold on. Hold on. That's not a good feeling. The blood ran away from my head. Let me start that topic over while I get my headspace correct. So I will never tell somebody that their game they like or their game preferences are trapped and trash that they should switch their games. I will never do that. Like I said, I may I may talk about Dark Souls as that, as that game series and clown on people who play it occasionally because I don't understand it. But I will never I will never be toxic enough about it to the point where I will make this, uh, tell them change what game you're playing. Don't play this game. I will never do that.
Like, what is it? Um, so here. I can use this as an example because there's somebody out here who's, basically, who's recently just got his name thrown, dragged through the mud. So there's this game. Monster Hunter Rise. You probably can't see it too well because the gleam shine and the fact that it's backwards. Monster Hunter Rise. This game. There's currently a popular streamer out there who streams his who streams his him playing through a game enough to get review foot uh, uh, footage enough for a review. And he died. You know, he called himself a Monster Hunter World veteran. Guess what? I happened to me, by the way. He called himself a Monster Hunter World veteran. He died. He died to, like, the sixth or seventh monster fight in the game against Kezu. Which is a mon which is which, and he was doing it on the single player variant, which means they have like a quarter of the health they no they normally would in compared to traditional Monster Hunter games. He died twice to that monster. Closed the game, like he basically did. He basically did this: closed game, turned off his switch, and said garbage, and went garbage game. If you th if you like this game, you like bad games. And initially, I thought he was just he was just unfamiliar with this. Like my initial thought process was, okay, this is his first time playing the game series. He doesn't understand. That's fine. I. If I was there, I would help coach him through it so he didn't feel like he was having a problem. Then I found out he played Monster Hunter World, to which I went, you played the arguably harder game and are trashing on this game. Then I found out he, he was playing against the Boo Boo ba Baby variant version of the monster and rage quit. To, at that point, I just went, you weren't even trying. You were just fishing for something to get angry about. But yeah, to d circle back around, I never want to get to that point with anything I do where it's just like you need to rethink your life and games you enjoy only play the games I enjoy I never want I never want people to get to get that impression from me one because I know I play weird ass games I mean like look at your TV look at your computer monitors TV screen phone that you're looking at right now I'm playing Ring Fit Adventure like this is probably the closest you can get to a weird ass game if it didn't have the if it didn't have the impact behind it of being a good workout centric game. trying to think of something else like I'm just looking around like I play like again I play weird games I play weird games where if I told people you can only play the games I play I would have even less of a following than I currently do because everybody's tuning in to watch somebody play Call of Duty or Valorant or CSGO or League occasionally Mario Maker or another Mario game or Zelda Randomizer and even though I play those things, I don't play those as often as I play the stuff like Ring Fit, Katamari, Sonic R, because that's like a staple for my channel. There's always those bad people, bad people in the bunch. Good job. Like, if I want something that, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a step too far for me, and I attribute that to, I'm just dumb. Like, okay. when I say it, when I play a, car, a TCG like that, if I want to play it, if I want to play 
something that works my mind, I'm gonna play Magic. I wanna pl I'm gonna play Magic because it, lets, it makes me think more about, more about than what's in my deck. It makes me look at my opponent's side of the field constantly to make sure I'm not overstepping any bounds. If I wanna play a game that where I just look at my deck and nothing in my deck, I'll play Pokemon TCG. Like, Pokemon TCG is the dumb card game. Magic is my smart card game. But regardless of that conversation, I'm repeating myself. Never let anybody tell you that what you enjoy is stupid. If they do, they're just insecure in what they think is good. Like, what is it? Like, a lot of my downtime, a lot of my downtime, I sit and watch, and I, I sit and watch people play games that I may have played or, or definitely haven't played, but they share platforming subtypes. Like, I was watching somebody play, oh god, that's what it was, uh, UTG's I want to be the goddess. Like, uh, UTG's uh, Enter the Goddess, basically a platformer starring Suwako of the Toho franchise. And one of my friends who, who was coming over to pick up something came in and said, why are you watching this? I just like watching this person. This game looks like it sucks. Probably does. And they just left me alone and left me be. kind of used to people judging my taste in videos I watch or games that I play. And I started to just I just started agreeing with them instead of fighting them on it. Cause they won't because they, they're not gonna listen to me. Kind of over that soapbox moment. Don't push it. Take a break if you need to. <laughs> hey, you do you. I'm not gonna fight you on your taste, man. Like here, here's something I wanna mention. So, just to double back to last week. So, last week we can play in this game for anybody that wasn't watching. I got fed up with my second ring con. Not my first, my second ring con, because it was eating inputs. So, 
because of that, in a blind rage, I took out the Joy-Con, I spiked the Ring-Con, I spiked the Joy-Con, I threw the Ring-Con away, and when I found out the Rumble wasn't working on the Joy-Con, I threw the Joy-Con away. Because the Joy-Con without the HD Rumble doesn't work for what the system specifies. So, I bought some replacement Joy-Cons recently. One of them is in the ring con right now. And the other is right here. Get that close to the camera so you can see that it's the orange and purple uh, Joy Cons. The newest and quite possibly most flashy Joy Cons on the market. And I guess I'm talking about this because I now have had two right Joy-Cons crap out of me. I threw the one away. I still have the other one, who is not, which is not accepting a charge at all. And I'm wondering if I can if I can muster up the courage to tell Nintendo, hey, my Joy-Con stopped accepting charge, period. Can I send it in for repairs? Uh, it's the pink one. It's the pink. It's a. It's the pink one that goes with the green, with the Splatoon color Joy Cons. But I just got to kind of wonder now what it would take to get it back out. What it would take to get out to Mr. Nintendo. But yeah. So I've been I've been kind of spoiling myself on a lot of my purchase on a lot of my on my Switch lately, just with my per various purchases. Probably so much so. Because like I said, I have bought those, and then I've also got the Monster Hunter Rise uh, Pro Control over here. Still in this box, by the way, because I'm afraid to take this thing out because it is so cool looking. Let's check that pulse, eh? Oh yeah. Keep a good attitude about it always. But whatever it is, I'm gonna try this again, aren't I? That's better. Ooh, it's almost my highest record. Um, anyway. sweetheart hey you got that right Kasai you just had to gotta have a good you just gotta have a good attitude 
you just have to have a good attitude about any near saying that people say, do to you. Like, can you see her in frame? No, she's just off frame here. People will call me weird when I come when I say my favorite indie franchise. I say indie. My favorite indie, indie franchise is Shantae right here. People are like, wait, why? That's this this oh god, there's a wolf. People say, oh god, why? This everything about that franchise is just oh it's oh no. That's what I have to say. Whatever. I mean, it's my franchise to enjoy or hate, not yours. <laughs> and I guess in retrospect, because everybody, because everybody who likes Sonic has a favorite Sonic character, of course. But for that, it's just like everybody's like the favorite Sonic character. Oh, I like Knuckles. I. You know, I like Tails, I like Shadow. I like me dark, edgy, and broody. And Sonic right. gonna smoke a 40 pack for every live recording. You got this, Sonic. Hire me, hire me to be Shadow now, Sega. I'll be your new, I'll be your new Shadow. Me, I'm just like. Me, I'm just like. Blaze the cat. Or, I'm just like, big the cat. I just say, you know, big the cat's my favorite. It's like, why big? Because he's like me. Oh, got away. You got it. <laughs> Doing great. Stupid ring con. <sighs> oh, I need a minute. Right on. Huh. Whew. Out of water. I'm a little bit tired, yeah. Because <sighs> I haven't done this proper in about a week and a half. And lifting 240 to 250 pounds of man on one foot at a high speed constantly, kind of rough. <laughs> Just when I go for my, when I go for my five mile walks, I walk at a very leisurely pace. I don't run like this game has me doing. And I'll be okay. I just gotta take a minute to relax. Actually, give me one second while I go re up on my water. The screen's gonna probably complain about lack of connectivity.
Well, my lack of my lack of conviction wasn't brought about by my lack of um my lack of focus. I should say on playing this game didn't come about entirely of my own volition because it was two weeks ago now. Two weeks ago, I was mentally, physically, and electronically planning for the stacked game marathon when that happened two weekends ago. Two weekends, well, a week and a half, I should say, then. I know that week, I think I worked out like three of the seven days of that week, just because I was pretty much always on call for that event. I was always on call for that event, and I was also trying to get all of my video stuff done for that for that week, so I wouldn't be spending the weekend getting it done. While I was on duty, either block running, being tech crew, or moderating, or being an announcer. And let's see. That week following, I was getting back into my groove more. I was actually going out for walks. I was going out for walks after I did a lighter workout routine in this. But then that Thursday kind of soured my mood where I didn't do my full workout last Thursday. And Friday, I just went for a walk. I didn't even do my warm-up exercise. But I still worked out in a sense. And then... Saturday I did my full workout. Sunday it was Easter with my parents, which I spent enough time running around after two little boys picking up their stuff and helping them move stuff, help my parents move stuff, that I got a decent workout doing that. Monday I did my normal workout. Tuesday I did, or no. No, Monday I went back to my, I went back to my normal job, which got me a decent workout for the day. Tuesday I built my Tuesday I built my new bike elliptical combo that I have. Which took me like four hours of monkeying around with something that weighs about fifty to seventy pounds overall. Uh, yesterday I got a full I got a full workout in because I did my early morning prep workout then I went for a walk and then oops I forgot my wallets when I went to go mail something to someone so I didn't so I didn't uh, I had to drive out to the post office again anyway after my walk and then I realized oh I forgot to pick up a couple things when I went shopping on Monday and that leads us to today where this is probably back in my more normal routine of where I'm gonna be trying to do full workouts again and proper full workouts again for, for the first time in like two weeks. But yeah, as you can see, took a little bit of a break to ramble on and whatnot and re get some water back in my system. I'm recharged again. I just pushed a little too hard chasing that one treasure chest. We just got here. <laughs> uh oh. Boy, thirsty for the booty. Yoga. Boy wants to do a little bit of yoga today. Oh, what's that? oh yeah. So, before I do this, um, but yeah. We were talking favorite Sonic characters. Everybody has a favorite Sonic character. Mine's always Big the Cat. Why Big the Cat? Because he's pretty much me. Kind of dumb. Kind of slow on social cues. Really kind-hearted, despite despite any ill uh, demeanor he might have. And will do just about anything you tell him to do. Like I think it's the art, it's the IDW comics. There's a, I wish I could find the panel or have it for reference, where Big is literally standing up against the big bad of that arc, 
and it was just like blocking blows from this big guy, not doing anything otherwise. And then Sa Sally just says, big, punch him. Okay, boom, levels him. Like, I radiate Big the Cat energy. <laughs> um, I'm kind of dumb. But I say all that in the instance that everybody's going to try and talk down everything you enjoy and what you like, even if it's not the popular choice. And you just have to roll with it. You just have to make jokes about it and roll with it. I use Big the Cat as a, as a reference sheet for all that because... Why are you like Big? The only parts, only parts of the games he's ever in is when he's fishing, or being a being a big dumb idiot. And I go, yeah, you're right. And the fishing sucked. That's why I like him. Because he's a big dumb idiot like me. You can hate him all you want. I'm not gonna stop hating. I'm not gonna start hating him. And I use that as a, I use that as a crutch of don't hate on things that other people enjoy to try and turn them to your favor. I believe there is a very wise, unfortunately it got memed to oblivion, so people joke about it now, but there is a Penny Arcade, or no, it's not Penny Arcade, uh, oh god, what is it, uh, Life by Adam or something like that? Where it's just a panel from, from one of his comics that's just one character pinching another character's lips shut, saying, shh. Let people enjoy things. Excellent. Amgar. Like, you're not gonna magic like just because you don't like something, you're not gonna magically make somebody go. You're not gonna magically make somebody go. Um You're not gonna magically have somebody go, Wow, you know, I liked it up until this point. But then you said that and now and now, I hate it entirely. <clears throat> Hi. Uh, I love you. Which circles back around that whole Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Magic discussion we had just a bit ago. Whew. Is nobody's gonna stop liking something just because you don't like it? Big focus time. Like exercises. I tend not to do a lot of these uh, more complicated ones on the daily. Sorry. I went I went a little ADD. I looked over my PlayStation cam and I went, and my PlayStation collection went, oh, right. I went out of my way to buy a copy of Gobble. 
Thank you. Uh. Here she is. Had to do it for Goat Mom. Okay. I'm better. Hang on a second. Okay, there's still sound coming out. I can hear it. Oh, you haven't beat it yet? That's fine. I mean, it's six years post-release now. I'm a little worried how much you've been exposed to in terms of spoilers. Especially with a game that, that was that much of a cultural phenomenon. But, I won't speak about the game just in case you haven't been spoiled to anything that goes on in that. All I will tell you is that to get a decent amount okay I will say with that if you know what's to be expected to get the full field game you should you should still play through it about three times once for the good ending once for the bad ending and then the third time to see the aftermath of both endings having occurred you'll know what I mean in such a way just so I don't spoil it even then. Okay. Amazing. Neat. Nicely done. Very nice. Perfect. Great. Nice. Excellent. 34. Well, I say good luck on that endeavor. Not to be mean. 
Quit to say that if you're gonna do it like that, I imagine you'll probably be hungry for about four-ish playthroughs. That's just me. Great. That's kind of what I wish I would have done. Like, I wish I wouldn't have uh, right. spoiled any aspect of the game for myself before I played it for myself. Keep it up. Good job. Like, I would have. I wish I would have still nice. not spoiled myself as much as I did when I initially played the game, because. I would have played much more of Undertale had I not known what was waiting for me around various bends and turns. Played the game through two, just shy of two times, only because of the fact that I spoiled for myself what was in the game's files ahead of time. Had I not known, I probably would have pushed through and played the game close to close to four times. how you're going to handle it. I'm going to still try and speak about, about what I'm going to speak about with, with, uh, spoiler free as possible. Like, if we... There are very few games that come along. There are very few games that come along nowadays that make you question your own morals. And... Or have like, um... Not political, but like... Kind of where a game has like an agenda of some kind to make you reflect on your on your life. And even though the game was six years ago, I think under, for those who had played Undertale, still have that impact on their life that came from playing Undertale. I should tell you Snape kills Dumbledore? Uh, I mean... Nothing. Hello, everybody! Amazing. Hi, hi! I'm down here on the floor! Nice. Amazing. Thank you, Charles, with the raid! And Nico with the and Nico with the ever so classy hello. Keep it up. Yes. Yes. Sharp. Well done. Thank you, Charles. It's been kind of a chore since I've been I've fallen off the train a little bit these last two weeks due to holidays and events. 
Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Everybody who came from Charles' end. Hi, my name is Scooter. Free Scooter is, is uh, at my name there, when normally we'd be on the left. I do content on YouTube, and I stream variety stuff during the week on Twitch. Fantastic. Only exception is today is Ring is a Ring is Ring Fit, ring fit Thursday. Anyway, Charles, I hope you had fun. Charles and crew, whoever was with you, I hope you had fun with your hunts today. And you're reminding me that I'm falling behind severely in my hunting curriculum. For anybody who follows me that doesn't follow Charles already, follow Charles. He's a slave to the Monster Hunter, but he's also a very good animator and artist boy. He, he does the art stuffs. Octowave has followed. And, and Nico has followed. You asked for it. Not. And Nico has also asked for the. Not. want more um just for the, just for uh new followers here my emote used to be a nut button emote much like octopip had in the past but i had to retire that emote because because uh, twitch said octopip no 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 you can't have that but all the craig as the emotes are still pre reign which are much more suggestive than a blue button with a silver underline Say la vie, say la bat. Probably not even it. Anyway, I have to get back on the floor now. Don't forget me. Remember me. YouTube, but if you want Wonderful. to get in on this ring fit action, all you gotta do is just start throw, just start falling along with the screen the best you can without a resistance ring. Well done, excellent. Think of it like those. Think of it like those. Those trashy Fantastic. 80s jazzercise videos, except it's live on Twitch. Okay. Amazing. And not done by a supermodel. But Very just a guy nice. who but just a but nice. just an ex-fat man trying to make sure he doesn't go back to becoming a fat man. Nara, I'm on the floor. I'll get your button press in a minute. <laughs>
of war. Oh, yeah, the the red Pac-Man and Pac-Man 99 can kill you. Oh. There you go, Nero. The red, the red, the red jammer Pac-Man can kill you in Pac-Man 99. The blue, the uh, white ones just slow you down. But the red ones don't start showing up until the red ones don't start start showing up in Pac-Man 99 until you're in the top 50. If you're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, if you're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because I misnamed them in my video, then yes, Ojamas can kill you. I'm aware of the card known as Ojama King. Go. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Whew. Slowly twist to the right. Slowly return to the start of the game. Also good for working your weight. Alright, two slaps. He's gonna hit me with the rocky one too. Alright. 
Sweat my eye. Oh, God. <coughs> okay, I feel better. Give me our second here. Holy cow. That took a lot to get through the normal reps of that without stopping. Oh, God. Man, you can tell it's been a while since I've last done that. The veins in my hands are freaking shooting out like shooting out like I'm in a deep water tank. This actually reminds me that I need to take a minute to get the experience buffer on. Oops. Someone just almost forgot to get himself double experience and double money. Okay, just double money. I think I forgot to make the double experience items. Oops. Oh well. It'll be like two or three of these. Or one. Let's do a pulse check. Hopefully it'll read it right for a change. <sighs> yeah, really close enough. Give me one minute, allergy season and whatnot. I heard everything. Drago's got a crush on the leggy lady. Shoot your shot, my guy. She might actually dig you. 
I missed, of course. Oh, I missed a course. I wait, no, I did that. What did I miss? Oh boy. Small Andrew child. Yeah, what course did I miss here? Now we gotta go back. Oh, I didn't do smack back. No, I did do I did do this. I did attempt this. It didn't work. I remember now. Moving on. Let me look at something here. Almost 300, huh? Not bad. All right, just a small mental breather here while I get my breath back. I was gonna ask you guys something and I forgot. That's what I was gonna ask, okay. Now forgive me for getting to political things. This isn't even political, this is just a common human need, but who else has been trying to get scheduled for their COVID shot and not had a lick of a chance in getting a, an appointment? Because that's been me this entire week since availability became be, became a thing for me. I've been going to, I've been going to both my, the website for my doc, for my uh, healthcare. I've been going to both the website for my healthcare, and also been going to the and also going to a local pharmacy to try and get one. And oh, I don't, I'm not making. I'm consuming. I've been trying like every three to six hours to try and get an appointment. And ever and every time, I keep getting back the no appointments available within the next five days. And it sucks. Like, I'm a little bit, like, okay, I'm gonna talk on this for just a minute before I continue. I'm a little bit jealous of people who have gotten in, gotten their shots, and gotten out. A, congratulations on you guys. You are on your way to being immunized and almost ready to go back into the real world as is. Configulations. So, don't let my jealousy stop you from getting well. But B, I wanna hurry up and get my shots. Because I have a sinking suspicion in either late May or early June, the event that me and my friends were planning last year for May and June that, that we would cancel is going to start getting planned again. And I would like to be able to participate in that event this year. And it's... It's not going to convention because as far as I know, no conventions are even going to go live this year until, until we hit a point of herd immunization, which means approximately 95, 90 to 95% of the general populace have had their COVID shots. But what we, what we tried to do last year is to just rent out an Airbnb, basically in the smack dab in the middle of the U.S., and just hang out for, uh, hang out from one Saturday till till the till the Sunday a week afterwards. Basically, have our own little convention where we don't have to go to panel or anything. We just go to a city, explore it, and have fun. Great. Let's so, go. mentally, I'm preparing for that. Four. <laughs> My knees are getting 
we're doing this. And of course, it lead into more. It will lead into more squats right away after the last roll being focused on that. But now we're core crushing. Like the thing is, what is it? Like anybody who in my friends in my friends groups who are here that have gotten their shots, you know, you can you can stay silent. I'm not calling you out. But I know some of my friends, my dad, and some older people I'm aware of have gotten at least their first shot now or are even scheduled to get their second shot within the next three days here and I'm just over here like trying my hardest to get scheduled get a shot scheduled for myself and I it just it makes me angry every time I go to schedule and it just goes nothing available for the next week <laughs> in that exact tone Fletch. about it is that gets me a little angry is that for those of you that don't know yet I have asthma long-term asthma I've had it since I was two so by that I actually should have been able to get my shot about a month a month and a half ago but my doctor my Doctor wouldn't wouldn't let me get my shot Fantastic. for some reason. Okay. I didn't fight it because I didn't understand the full rules of the shots. But I'm just a little miffed that because I was in earlier bracket, I couldn't I still couldn't get it. I'm just gonna go with this for now. I do realize that me complaining about this is on the entirely wrong platform to be complaining about this. I should be complaining to like the WHO or the CDC about it, but this is where I'm bringing it up. Right here in front of a live studio audience that consists of zero doctors and or physicians.
I suppose the other thing I should say is that I'm not I'm not getting angry I'm not getting angry at people who've already had their shots like I said good on you that you're getting your shots ah Unfortunately, I don't have the stuff for double experience, but thank you, Matthias. I do have double ingredients on, but carrots and or pumpkins and or onions seem to be very scarce. Appreciate it all the same, my friend. Also, so is the pun. No need to rush, though. <sighs> Helps we go. As I say it, as I'm saying this, I'm not saying this to be a but well actually guy. I'm not trying to be that. I'm just saying that all I know is that I try not to grind levels, even though I can just jump over enemies to avoid getting additional experience. I try not to redo levels. And the shops don't sell that stuff. I've checked every shop and I'm in post game. <laughs> New game plus, post game, whatever you want to call it. Again, I'm not trying to be mean when I say this. I'm just answering your, concern, your concerns. But there's also a possibility that I'm stupid and I, and I probably have the materials to make experience drinks. I just haven't done it yet. Alright, who wants to climb a mountain? Go up the mountain. When you start acting like a dra when they when they ask you why you're like a dragon, you say, I'm not acting. Oh 90 Sobeys commercials were cursed. Move super energetically. Would you leave me if these pants were a white, were, were a lighter gray when I started today? And this shirt was almost a uh, lavender purple and not a deep purple. Whew. Mountain climbers, man. Oh, 
Give me a minute. I say it a lot, but I'm going to say it again. You don't know how difficult it is to move 240, 250 pounds a man. Unfortunately, if I, get, if I lose much more weight than that, I'm going to start looking anorexic. Just my genetics and body build type. assaulted in a minute. Oh, never mind. I thought that was an assault course. New high score. New high score. Huh. Well, you understand it. I won't comment on height differences. Because I might be wrong on that, but we're about the same weight. I try to convert, I try to convert, uh, what you call it, US measurement to metric system. But I'm, I don't know the exact calculations off the top of my head, so. All I will say is you're playing along with me. Awesome. You're one of the people like me who got tired, who, got, who are tired of, who got tired of being out of shape and or fat and are doing something about it. <laughs> yeah. Which I encourage everybody to do. Cause I'll keep it short for everybody who's known about who I always tell this story to. But about a year, about two years ago, about two years ago, I used to weigh. What was it? About two years ago, I used to weigh 175, 180 kilograms, somewhere around, somewhere in that range. And then three years before that, I think it was close to 200, 220 kilograms. And now I'm down to, well, as you said right there, about 120 kilograms. <laughs> Somewhere in that ballpark. Ready? Go! Keep it up. Great. Awesome work. Oh, 
try to get the read on it. <sighs> Woo, S rank. Not my best score, but S rank still. Give me, give me the block pile. Something, something, Captain Jack Sparrow. Whew. Wow. Almost at my goal. Eh. Fair enough. I'm not going to sit here and lecture you either. I was the same way. I was the same way five years ago, five plus years ago. Stubborn, didn't care, didn't try to look up. Look up how to do it. So I'm not gonna sit here and lecture you. Let's go. You know what I forgot to do? Two things, actually. Let's see, can I make any double money stuff or double experience stuff? Double money, double money. No, I cannot make any double experience stuff. <coughs> oh, God. Excuse me. But yeah. Yay! Uh, ooh. I, forget, I forgot I almost started, I forgot to drink one. <sighs> but, um... But yeah, I'm not going to sit here and lecture you on it because... I'm stubborn, and my father tried his hardest to get me to get uh, on, my, on exercising about 10 years ago, and I fought him every step of the way. And I'm not saying that as a detriment to you. I'm saying that as a, if someone's stubborn and they made their mind up, they're not going to do something, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. And the more you push against them to do to do something about it, the farther they're gonna, they're gonna the harder they're gonna push back. So you do you, man. Is all I'm saying. Oh, you know it. And I don't know about you personally, but my stubbornness runs in my family. My father is a stubborn man. Both of my grandfathers were also stubborn men. It's very ingrained into my genealogy at this point to be stubborn. For better or for worse. Fine. 
Da, comrade. We twist like the Russians. Also, apologies if you hear any rumbling or clattering. I have a shelf on my left here that I built two weeks ago. And I should probably put a towel underneath to help absorb some shock impact from me running like this. As an old wise man once said, oh shit, here we go again. I've been on that path too. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. I have been on that path too in the past. But what caused me to care was spite. Eventually something ticked to me and I just went, you know what? Everybody's saying I'm gonna be dead in ten years? Hell with that. I will prove them wrong. And here I am. And here I am on the wrong side of 30 proving them wrong. side that also runs rampant in my family and I have not succumbed to it caffeine addiction maybe but not alcoholism <laughs> on brighter side of things, even if things look bleak, that's all I'm going to say. For me, it was soda. Like, this is full of water right now. This is, uh, I think, a 40, uh, 40 liquid, or 40 fluid ounce. I think I tore a tag off. I think this is four, uh, 40 fluid ounces. This is all water.
three years ago. Three years ago, I would have been on my fourth can of soda with plans to have a fifth or a sixth before I go to bed, before I went to bed about four to five hours later. That's why I say caffeine addiction. I've kicked it eventually, but you get the point. But let me catch my breath for a minute while I speak about this. But I'm not trying to make this a self-help self-help seminar or anything like that. And we can keep talking on the stuff if you want to keep going. But because I know for a fact from my own past, self-help seminars don't help. If you're a lazy and or stubborn person like I am, they don't help. They in fact push you harder to not care more. All I know is that at some point, should should it happen, because I'm not saying because I'm not saying I'm not gonna make it sunshine and rainbows that it will happen to you. It'll happen to you. Just give it no. When you feel ready, when you do feel ready to care, you will find what it, what you need to care about yourself. And until that point, because like I said, I can speak from experience, everybody pushing against you to do better for yourself, I know it's just hurting your drive to do better for yourself. All I, can, all I can say is, I hope at some point, you'll find what that is to make you care for yourself. And until that point, don't go down a dark, don't go down the darkest road. That's all I ask. Don't go, don't go down the darkest road, because somebody does care about you at the, at the end of the day. Amen. Like I said, I can't push somebody to do better for themselves if they don't want to. Did I lose sound? No, I didn't. It's just very quiet. 
And I guess that just goes out to everybody. Anybody who's lurking or anything like that. And not just, uh, not to put you, not to put you in, on the spot. But there you go, spot. That goes out to anybody else out there. You can be stubborn as hell like I was ten, ten years ago, even five years ago. You can be stubborn as you want and not care enough to do better for yourself. Just don't go, just do not go down the darkest path. Because as much as you may tell yourself otherwise, somebody does care about you. In some capacity. I think I got one more in me before I get, before I call it. But first things first, skill point. Actually, let's wait on skill points. Cause I'm gonna I have to buy I have to buy honey out of all her wares. Aww. Let me check the drink shop just in case I'm being dumb. But what I'm looking for is onions, carrots, and or pumpkins. Which there is not. Okay, man. Hey, okay, mommy. Okay, pasa. Thank you. Thank you, okay, man. It had. I think it's been since Magfest 2018 since we last saw each other in person. I want to say. Uh, I can look it up actually. Um, but yeah, K-Man, like, I mean, last you saw me, I was somewhere between 400 and 360 pounds. Where, I, that's what, yeah, that's where. I'll look it up in my own time, I won't worry about it right now. But I'll look it up, because I think to make the double experience stuff, um, I think, no, maybe I need carrots. Let's see. Uh, I need carrots, not onions. But yeah, uh, go back to that, yeah. Okay, man, the last time you saw me, I was between, three, between 360, 400 pounds. I'm currently 240 to 250. Because I said, I'm done playing the Fat Man game. Oh, that costs five. That's five, too? Why is that five? That's, that's bogus. Alright. Alright, Briss. I think back press is still more powerful. Let's see. Back press, back press. Back press is still more powerful. Thank you. All it, to all it took came in was... Having a diet that consisted like 60% full of eggs, 30% full of salad, and then the other the other miscellaneous was either chicken breasts or turkey burgers without cheese. <laughs> I practically starved myself for a year. <laughs> Dude, I got friends who do keto. I got I got two friends right now who are doing keto. One of them was heavy, one of them is still heavier than me. He started off way heavier than me, like 500 pounds roughly. I'm guesstimating. And he's down to where I was when I started dieting, doing keto. I'm guessing he hasn't told anybody his actual weight, and I'm not gonna push it on him. All I'll tell you, K man, because I because they do keto, I will warn you while doing keto. You're, you're gonna have to like either you're gonna have to like when you're done with it You're gonna have to slowly work your old diet back into what to what you eat now Or you're gonna have to just stay keto for the rest of your life if you don't want Like almost all that weight to come right back onto your body Because <laughs> the same friend in question he goes on keto he loses you know 20 pounds 30 pounds in a month and then he and then he, for a weekend, he eats he eats like the rest of us do, you know, eating gummy bears, 
uh, all the bread stuffs, hash brown casseroles, all that stuff we eat. And then he tells us, yeah, I put on 20, I put on 15 pounds over the weekend. Keto's a slippery slope, my guy. We're... That's true. Like, I've been saying it a little bit to you, Matthias, but I guess also the game man. Like, where I'm at right now, 240, 250, I can't lose much more weight myself because when you lose so much weight, you have a skin flap. Like, you basically... I can't find a flattering way to describe it, but just imagine, like, your fist, like this, hanging off your front, just loose, and that's what you have for about seven years, just a loose skin flap. So that's, like, five to ten pounds right there on me, just loose skin from when I was so fat, and in fact, I could probably stand to lose another five to ten pounds as is, but just because of my body shape and genetics... If I go much below like 230, I start looking anorexic. Wow. So 240, 250 is a happy place for me. It says about 70 calories, huh? That'll be perfect for the for the end of this. But yeah, so if you do lose a whole bunch of weight at once, like like I said, I lost. I think over the course of a year, I lost 120. I lost about 120 pounds. So if you lose a lot of weight really fast, you're gonna have that loose skin and those skin flaps. Now, what a moderator here who tends to pop in about this time has told me as kind of a wives tale kind of thing is if you start experiencing that or have stretch marks from when you were a heavy lad a a uh, skin smooth uh, skin lotion that has shea butter in it helps to kind of like reform your skin and kind of tighten up the skin but you're still going to deal with that loose skin for anywhere from five years to a decade <laughs> while your body readjusts Also, onion. There's some onion in this stage. Let's go, onion! Wait, why? Right. Oh, what? without using smoothies. Why? I missed. My roommate's pissed at me, by the way, because I'm thumping at 9.30 at night. Oh no, 180, 185 for your... No, you're, you're done. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like grab you by the neck and say you're done but okay man you're done <laughs> you can't lose anymore like me at 6'2 by the way most doctor scales are like for like skinny body types like for me at 6'2 they say 200 pounds is my weight limit but if I know I know if I go below 230 I start looking at anorexic <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking for carrots. Anyway, it's time to raise the legs. Okay. Anyway, I would show you potential games. I would show you any games that I've actually gotten, but unfortunately, because of Twitch TOS, I cannot do that. So you only have to, you can only take my word. You can only take my word for it about any gains I have may have acquired. Great! 
Hey man, I don't wish any, I don't wish that on anybody. Yes. And OnlyFans a scooter is 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 uh, not sanctioned by the Geneva Convention. Getting to the end of my work, getting to the end of my limit here, so Good I'm job. slowing down a lot. Nice. Nice. But something I will say is that I know some I know a lot of the, my extra weight is the loose skin I have around my gut. But a lot of it is, if you can see it, is my legs. I have been so big for so long that the muscles of my legs are tw are like the muscles of my legs make up are almost about the same size as my to as my uh, torso, especially my quads. Very nice. Awesome. I got them watermelon squishing thighs. Message in a minute, Ashley. Yes, yes. Keep it up. But as I said, you know, once you hit your, if you would reach your goal, slowly start integrating your old diet back in because I still had bread with my, with my diet I had. Like I had turkey and ham sandwiches on wheat on wheat bread. So I still had bread in my diet when I was when I was dieting. Unlike keto, where like if you have a slice of bread, you fail to diet for the day. Come on! Thankfully, they make things like egg white wraps and cheese wraps now. Oh hell, they even now make keto friendly bread. If you've seen that. Work out regularly. No See about getting ring fit. As long as you can get, if you get ring fit though, buy yourself a replacement ring con just in case. Because this one, even though it's off, even though it's third party, this is my third ring con. Because the ones made by Nintendo break after about four months of extensive use. Anyway, uh, I have to read Ashley's sub message. I see the punchline, I'm still gonna say it. A pirate walks into a bar with the ship wheel on his crotch. The bartender asked, what's with the ship's wheel on your crotch? The pirate answered, "Ah, it's driving me nuts. Solid. That's a solid. That's a solid, that's a solid walks into a bar joke. Classic even. Um, but yeah, what I will follow up with on what I was saying, K-Man, is, like, before I started playing Ring Fit about a year ago, I was, I was using ellipticals for about two hours a day, every day. And when I told Ring Fit that, it said, oh, your difficulty level should be 23 out of 30. And I was like, huh, that seems low. I've been exercising my butt off every day. And then I did it, and my first set of exercises was squats, and after my first day of exercises, I was walking like RoboCop. I was walking like RoboCop for five days. Of course, that is a thing of the past. I'm currently at level 30 out of 30.
Where the only thing that's bringing me down now is uh, my right knee tends to be like arthritis pain weak. So. Ooh. Well, one, I'm curious what phone, what Android phone you got, because I've got an S8 Plus. And two, I didn't know Steam had that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Well done. Also, I'm pretty sure because a lot of uh, a lot of motherboards now can have Bluetooth stuff. I don't know what a J5 Prime is. <laughs> I apologize, but I know like if okay. Father Nintendo and Nintendo Ninjas above, please forgive me for the blasphemy I'm about to speak. Memory, our motherboards do have. Uh, motherboards do have Bluetooth capability, and I know you can, you can, uh, you can emulate Switch games. So there are ways to have the Joy Cons hook up to your PC, as long as you get a proper resistance ring to go with it and this funny little leg strap. You can probably just play Ring Fit on your computer too. But I will attest to Beat Saber being good cardio. I had one stream a long time ago where I played Beat Saber, actually. That game still kicks my butt. Just because until I get the flow of a rhythm game, what I'm looking for for rhythm is, like, for Beat Saber purposes, I'm, like, looking right here, and I'm not looking out here. Which is what you need to do. For when you're playing a beat, uh, rhythm game, you need to look way out here for what to do next and not two inches from your face. Which reminds me, one of these days, excuse me, one of these days I need to hook up a, uh, I need to see if, how, how my DDR skills have held up, because I haven't played DDR for like five years now. can't see that far in front of me. Well, how good is food DDR? Because on most DDR machines, my limit is like the 6 out of 10 feet. But even more so, but even more so, that is also playing without using the balance bar on the back. So I'm using all my weight to play. I guess before I fell out of my fascination with DDR, I could beat, I could beat every single song on DDR Mario Mix on very hard, except for the final Bowser duel, which that's the equivalent of like six feet. Well, no, that one's like seven or eight feet out of ten. I'm out of water again. Oh, no, okay. So, slight br cutaway break. I gotta dig this out. Hold on. I was going to fold this bastard. <laughs> I 
I still got this bitch. And you can just hear like the like the packing paper inside of it. <laughs> reminded me of that that, that game existed came in maybe I'll add it to a list of zero games right now that are games I should put forward games of games I should put forward for the next stat game marathon DDR Mario mix showcase I would have to actually practice on it. Um, what is it? There was something else I was going to say. Oh, right. So, taking the, taking the wheel of time, turning it back. Um, so, what I will say is, if you're going to reintroduce your diet, reintroduce it slowly, and then find... What I found that helped that helped me the most is I found a, like a golden point of what I can buy that is not the best for me, but I can still eat and maintain my weight. Like one of those huge ass party like per grocery trip, which is like every week, every week and a half, one of those huge ass bags of Reese's pieces and a bag of pretzels is about all the snacks I can give myself and still stay about level. And if I run out of those, if I run out of those before I go shopping again, too bad, I'm out of those until I go shopping again. three ground beef and turkey and ground turkey because standard ground beef is like 85 10 or 85 15 and that's like 900 that's like 900 calories per pound but hella leaf but hella lean ground beef and and ground turkey those two they're like 400 they're like and uh oh yeah Okay, so you're looking at the opposite way, no. I went for hella lean stuff, so like ground turkey and 95.5 ground beef is like 400 calories per pack. I went the calorie route, not the fat content and carbs route. Your abs with oh, right, we're doing a rush attack. Something, something, Phantom Thieves of Hearts, something, 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 take your heart. Also something about Jables Coon, I have no idea. Excellent. Did I do the did I do the funny? Did I do it right? to it okay so this is for everybody here I put this out on Twitter the other day okay. so various companies have been advertising like Mad Men for 
for the uh, the impossible beef, the plant made burger patty stuff, or ground beef rather. So it came after keto, you'll have to look at that. But what I will say is that it tastes like ground beef. It does taste like 95% like ground beef, straight up. There's only two problems with it. One, the texture. It tastes like you're eating a bowl of, of like, you like you didn't quite cook a bowl of oatmeal right, like that consistency. And it stinks to high hell with whatever you're cooking it with. So I'm probably not going to have it again, but I will say that it might be an option for some people if they're curious. It's not bad. It's just not for me. Then that stuff's expensive. It's like seven bucks for 12 ounces. <laughs> okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to Let me look at my calorie legs. count. Oh yeah, we're, all, we're pretty much at the end of my rope here for working out. Oh, it's almost 10 o'clock too. I should probably, I should probably wrap things up after this stage, just so I don't, just so I don't uh, keep my roommate up, even though he sleeps like a log. I was gonna say, I forgot. Yeah. So, but, but anyway, like, yeah, came in. You know, you know keto better than I do, because I've never been on it. I'm only offering suggestions, from what little I know. Check this shit out for the last for last uh, stage of the day. Hey, I'm finally not ending a stage right in front of a uh, not ending a ring fit stream right in front of a boss. That looks about 1:30, maybe 1:20. No, it's 1:30. done for today so um, I'm stretching out here but I'm just gonna go over a few things here also it's probably gonna give me some achievements for doing things on my own custom workouts set up oh it didn't I've already I think I've hit enough milestones let's begin our static stretching so the ring con. while I wrap things up with ring fit for tonight I think I'm just gonna leave it as is does anybody have any questions they wanted to ask me this evening raise both hands um, what I will say, wrist, tilt to the um, and for those of you that are new here that were just kind of watching for Ring Fit, I do more than Ring Fit. This is a normal Saturday thing, though. So, oh boy. Return to your original position. This is a normal Switch Saturday game. event that happens, or Saturday, way. Thursday event that happens. Um, Saturday, I'll probably be playing it. either... The new hotness, Pac-Man Pac 99, or the other new hotness of Monster Hunter Rise. Bring yourself back slowly. <sighs> Raise both arms and pull down on your left 
elbow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your elbow downward. Now do the same on the opposite side. Stretch slowly and don't hold your breath. <laughs> That's generally how it works. But yeah. But yeah, also for new people, if you weren't here when uh, Charles raised me earlier, I will say huh, Put your right foot that, forward and cross your legs. Um, if you're here for if you're here for streaming stuff, I stream Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Sometimes other days I'm feeling up to it, but most of the time not. Because on those other days, I either take a breather or I work on content for my YouTube channel, which is the Let's Play Switch format of videos. So, uh, right now, I'm playing, right now I'm playing Indivisible, which has an unfortunate history tied to that game. Basically, mainly the creator has, mainly the creator of Lab Zero became a, became a dickhead and ran the company out of everything. So I'm doing that. I'm doing one side series where I look at new indie games every every week yeah, on Saturday. And Sundays I play something that's a little more bite-sized that you don't Shift have to watch every episode to understand. Right now it's side. Wario Land 2. And lastly, I also have a stream archive channel where ever since I got affiliate status, I have been putting... Rotate I've been putting every single back, stream up there on that channel, unedited, in case you miss it, or right. if you can't find it in the Roll VODs, the same way. for some reason. Bring your neck back up and stretch in the opposite direction as well. Focus on stretching all the way from your neck to each mm -hmm. shoulder. But, <clears throat> before I close everything off here tonight, we do have one last tradition Bring of letting the viewers slowly. choose where we raid. And your stretching is I follow enough people on Twitch here, yeah. even though I don't watch them all the time. I follow enough people here on Twitch that I let you guys choose where the raid goes for the evening. Granted, I will still probably choose the raid message. Uh, stand. However, the information may be accurate for, for players with significant muscle mass or players with under the age of 20 whose bodies are not yet fully developed. Yeah. Oh, who's live? I, I think I'm following her. If I'm not, I'll go look. I'll go look her up. Um, do you know what she's playing right now? I can I can look it up in a second. While I tear down. Oh yeah. Okay, man. I have another secret weapon. Legend. Ooh. That's the. Is that's the. I don't. Or no, that's the. Uh, that's the uh, rail shooter one. I think. Um, hold on a second. Yeah. Dang, it's not my recent. Uh, can I select with this? No, I cannot. Oops. I have Toho. Whoops. Uh, no. Back. Uh, I just went past it. Am I dumb? Oh, it's, no, it is my title. Why can't I find, why can't I find Legend of Dragoon? Help? Am I stupid? Oh, Panzer Dragoon is what I was thinking. Oops. Okay, so no, Legend of Dragoon is an RPG. Never mind. Yeah. But yeah, Saturday Saturday is going to be one or one of these two, if not both of these two. Let's go see what I got here. Also, let's see if I'm actually following Foo or not. I'll feel like a jerk if I'm not. I am following Foo. Guys, I'm not a jerk. 
Zounds and hurrahs. Okay. Let me pull the mic down so you can actually hear me. Come, come here. Come, come hither. Come, come, come. All right. So for your choices, for your choices tonight of who I follow, um, we've got Alternate24 playing Star Fox Assault right now, multiplayer, probably via Parsec. So people are just chilling. And people are, they're just chilling. They're hanging out, bullshitting, if you were, if you will. Um, Botanic Sage is playing Monster Hunter Rise. Surprising no one. Uh, as K-Man stated, Little Fu is playing Legend of Dragoon. And Tamal is playing Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. Poot. The acronym for the game is Poot. So yeah, uh, run through it again. Ultra 24, Multiplayer Star Fox Assault, Botanic Sage, Monster Hunter Rise. Fu, Legend of Dragoon, Tamal, Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. If, if there's any other votes, get them in now. Otherwise, I'm probably going to go with K-Man's vote of rating Fu. Okay. I'm not seeing any objections yet. So I'm going to start doing, start do, setting up for raiding Fu. I don't have a raid message for you to give you guys to give her. Just say hi to her. Maybe give her a follow. No, you're following. Okay. All right, let's go raid Fu. So yeah, I don't have a specific raid message. Just say hi to her. Give her a what's up. Uh, if you want to make her flinch, you can always just say based. I'm not, but I'm going to give you that as an option. And that's it for me. Uh, keep eyes on Twitter, and I'll tell you what we're probably going to stream on Saturday. But, for, but until then, have a good night, everybody, and have a great weekend. Or rest of the week, whatever you want to say. <laughs>